Hello, folks. Let me tell you, I can't even buy a clear night right now. Over the past couple of weeks, all I've been able to do for Deep Sky is capture around six hours of luminance on the Whirlpool Galaxy. I, I like what I see so far, but I, I got a ways to go before I'm going to finish it, and the forecast looks absolutely horrible, so who knows when I'm going to get this done. But the clouds did break in the evening today, and so I saw the sun, and, well... I can start imaging the sun again. You know, I've got that equipment now, so I went for it. And let me show you what I got for it. So I had about a half an hour to image the sun before the clouds came back. And um, it's really important, I know, is, is, is to have a, a solar finder that's lined up well because today I was able to find the sun really fast. And if I had to just sit there and look for it, I would have missed my opportunity. But this is the, I recorded a few videos. I haven't gone through it, all of them, but this is the one I decided to use before I even realized it had clouds. You can see the clouds pass through. And I was using the, the Daystar Quark and the new um, camera, uh, the ASI-183, and I think I did a much better job. I can see more than the first time. I can see more texture on the sun, and I can even see prominences, which surprised me because... I thought in most cases, I've seen other people, they actually increase the gain to the point where the sun is blown out just to be able to see prominences, but I was able to see them without having to do that. So that was interesting. So, and what else? Oh, I cleaned off the dust, so no more dust to, to worry about. I don't have to create flats or anything like that to try and get out the dust. And But there's still no features on the sun, like... Um, uh, filaments or sunspots. So right now I'm just trying to um, focus on uh, my, my processing skills, get more detail, more texture in the sun, and even go after that problem. For now, I, I cropped off that edge, <clears throat> Excuse me. although it's still blurry there, but I, I cropped it more later in the process. And next, this is an interesting part where uh, I've seen other people do this before where they actually invert the sun and it really makes the texture pop when you do that. I'm not going to do this every time, but I thought it was really cool to try it for this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I, I just like the look of it, so I, I'm going to go with it this time. And next, I, I highlighted or it brightened up the background a bit, so now I can see the prominence even more. And it, it's really cool that I picked up the surface and the prominence in a single video. I got lucky because, like I said, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Sometimes people have to create two separate videos to do that, and then they merge the pictures at the end. They have to overlay them, but I got them both in a single shot, so that's pretty good. And now I added, um, uh, uh, I, I added color, and I sharpened it a bit in Photoshop. And then I used PixInsight to create a mask for the prominence, and I use curves to brighten it up even more. So I thought that's a really cool effect there. And I added some contrast to the picture. And then that's where I cropped it. So I uh, I think this is a pretty good for my third time out. So I'm, I'm liking this. This is a lot of fun. Especially I can't do deep sky right now. But at least I can play around with the sun. That, that's kind of fun to do. And... Uh, let me show you one more thing here in PixInsight. This is the mask I created. I created a mask and I used clone stamp to paint out everything else and just leave the prominence in there. 
and and this is what the, the image I was working on. If I say show mask, you'll see how I blocked everything out of the image. And then I just brightened it up with curves. And it worked. It really brought it out. <coughs> it's hard. I'm <coughs> coughing like crazy. I still feel bad from, from that flu. <coughs> well, I'm going to end the video here before I start coughing up a lung. But everyone, thanks for watching, and um, I will see you later. <laughs>